Can you tell me what's the difference between the general journal and the ledger accrual journal? Ledger accrual journal. Yeah. So general entry, general journal are the uh, like it's the functional in which we uh, pass general entries for the daily uh, you know transactions. Mm -hmm. And in the journal ledger, so it's a kind of sub journals like uh, we use uh, cash or bank. So if we are uh, making the payment for the by the cash, so it will the cash account will be different. So it will come under the ledger part. Mm -hmm. so if we are suppose we are buying uh, some machineries, so machineries mm -hmm. account will be a different. It will be coming in the ledger part, machinery ledger account. So basically, the, the ledger actual journal allows you to spread expenses over multiple periods, right? Automatically. Yes. Yes. And general journal is like standard transactions. Yes, transactions. Okay, cool. Yes, you can proceed. Okay. So now I'll go with the accounts table in account. So while it's loading, uh, can you tell me how does the three-way matching process works in accounts table? Uh, yes, sir. There is a three-way process. Like first, you will have to. Uh, give the order for the you know coaches then we receive the order and uh, when the quality team check that orders and uh, like uh, with and after that we evaluate those orders so it's like three ways first we'll place the order we'll receive and our quality team will check those orders and we will take in our uh, entries that all the orders are correctly mm -hmm. received or not quantity is the same or not so so it's basically a validation process that it's compares the purchase order right yes so, there are two ways matching and three ways as well so in so three, what are this process means uh, i want that technical details that purchase order is getting the validation process that is happening is happening with what you want to see in this so i can show you no no you tell me the answer uh, it's fine uh, over there in Dynamics, sir, when we set the uh, vendor's account, in that also we have option to uh, you know, choose the options for three-way matching and two-way matching. So if you want to know the whole... Uh, uh, you know, what Just an the overview, company. see, the thing is that, see, purchase order gets checked with the invoice, whatever I know. Okay. Yes. Purchase order versus invoice, the first match that will do. Then, mm -hmm. So it will it basically verifies the price and the quantity. Yes. And then comes it's with the receipt. So hmm. purchase order gets checked with the receipt. It verifies the quantity we received against what we what that person has ordered for. Yes. And then it will check between the receipt and the invoice, ensuring that the invoices match with the what with what we have received. Yes. Right? Yes. These are the three way matching process. That's that's an accounts table. Yes, sir. correct. Actually, I was not uh, use the technical words, but yeah, it's an evaluation process. Actually, what we have received. It's the correct thing uh, which for the invoices which we are getting or not. Right. So using uh, technical terminologies are very important. Yes. Otherwise, uh, your answers won't be considered as uh, strong, substantial answers. It would be like beating down the bush. You are just superficial answers to your to communication, which is fine. Means if you are able to explain me, I'm okay. But during the time of recruitment, the technical terminology plays a very, very vital role especially during your client rounds. Your clients want to see that whether you know the technical terminologies. Okay. So try to practice in that way as well. Sure, so sure. So, so you mentioned that you were done with the purchase order? Yeah. You have already created the purchase order. Okay. So can you tell me what are the key statuses of a purchase order? Key stages? Status. What are the status? Like we have draft. Firstly, the state status is like draft, then approved, then we have confirmed, received, invoiced, and the last status is closed. Yeah. Like about, about... It is when we are creating the purchase order, it is into a approved status actually. Hmm. 
and after that going into the actions we have to confirm select it into a confirm and then our purchase order is processed and it is visible in our system mm -hmm. okay so uh, if i ask you this question that uh, how do you handle partial payment, uh, partial receipts and uh, back orders what would be your answer yeah in in case of partial receipts our invoice will be created equal to the amount of the uh, amount we have actually received and other will be into a pending only. Okay, so the remaining items will stay on the back order. Yeah. Okay, cool. And if any amendments are required to be done uh, on a, that is purchase order changes or if it is required to be done, then how will you handle that? Not worked on it, sir, actually. I have just created a purchase order and process That's fine, it. but what's your thought process? You, it's a high possibility that every stages you might not be able to work okay, within such small time. It takes yeah. years. But what will for, be your approach to this question? Yeah. For those uh, which uh, which products are invoiced, that cannot be changed actually. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, uh, those are into pending, that can be changed. Okay. We can either reverse, we can do a reversal for the same or either we can create a new purchase order. And for com confirmed purchase orders, what will you do? It's an open forum if anyone wants to. And, yes. Can I answer this? Yeah, absolutely. Please. So, sir, suppose if we have placed order of five uh, alloy wheels, we mm -hmm. have received only two only, right? Three are uh, yet to receive. Uh, so we have one feature in Dynamics only. Uh, in confirmed, uh, we have to go in the confirmed uh, uh, entry. Uh, and header will see an option of purchase order. We have to click on that. And on that, we will uh, see option of purchase receipt. There we have to update that we have received only three. And two or two and three are uh, still left. And we have to fill all the criteria there. And we have to click on OK. So again, one purchase order will be created of whatever the left two or three, uh, which we have not received that product. So again, that will be uh, go to the vendor and again, they will, it will be an order actually, leftover order. We will again place and uh, vendor will uh, provide that uh, product again. So for confirmed purchase orders, there is an option called as change, change management, I guess, which allow mm, the amendments. Uh, maybe yeah. that will be uh, one option will be there. But uh, in Dynamics, uh, in that confirmed only, there is one option in purchase order. Okay. And in purchase order, there is a purchase receipt. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Fine. Virendra, a small question to you. Can you tell me what is the purpose of purchase order confirmation? Why is it necessary? Uh, sir, uh, in my uh, my observation, uh, we need to the purchase order for the uh, purchase order is a very uh, very important thing for the confirmation. Uh, at the time of if we are uh, sorry. Why is it this purchase order? Sir, I'm only. I am able to hear you. There might be an uh, loud power outage. Okay. Uh, so, sir, uh, the question is that, can you repeat it again, sir, please? Uh, what is the purpose of uh, PO confirmation? Yeah, sir, actually, uh, if uh, we, are, uh, we are not confirming the PO, right, so the entry will not be able to process. That is the uh, Purpose to confirming the PO. But what happens? So that, that's fine. That then you're not confirming it, it won't be processing. But why is it necessary? What will happen if you do that? Uh, if we will uh, confirm the purchase order, it will be uh, uh, without any problem, it will be posted. Then what happens? My, that, is, well, that is the thing that I want to know about. It will be posted, it will be completed. If you click on end, it ends. But what happens when you complete it? Uh, okay. Uh, so the if we have to complete the uh, PO with confirmation, so that will be rise the invoice. 
uh, what we whatever we have to get from the vendor side. Okay, so vendor is price the uh, invoice, so we will process that one, and we have to pay for that. So what we are not very, not very happy with the answer. See, simple thing. When we are uh, proceeding with the confirmation, it basically locks the term of the order, and then it allows you for further processing, like such as receiving an invoice. So every order has got its terms and conditions, right? So as soon as you confirm it. So that means those terms and conditions are now embedded into that order. Now, whoever is the purchaser won't be able to now modify the terms and conditions. And then you need to proceed with the other steps. Understood? That, that should be your answer. Since okay. an experienced person will give answer in this way. So you will have to try to be to the point. That is the main objective, what I'm trying to say. To the point answers and technical answers are very important. It will be complete. I know confirmation will be been complete. If I'm doing a shutdown of my laptop, it will shut down my laptop. But what happens when you shut down? Then all the applications that runs at the back end, it gets disabled. The cache memories are removed. And then it shuts down. That should be your answer. What is happening at the back? Okay. Okay, okay sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, sharing. just sharing my screen. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry, till the time Shivam is sharing the screen. Uh, in previous uh, class, sir, you have asked me one question re regarding the reversal of the transaction. That uh -huh. time, my answer was purely incorrect, sir. And now uh, I came up with the uh, correct answer. So, yep. so how we will reverse the transaction? In general, like we have to go to the inquiry and reports. After that, we have to go in trial balance. In trial yeah. balance, I have to select whatever, or, uh, uh, whatever the you know exactly which uh, general uh, we have to reverse. We have to click on that. And after that, in top uh, right corner, we'll see an option of reverse transactions. We have to click on that and then we'll have to select that and we have to uh, click on OK button. It will be get reversed. Very good. Absolutely on point. This is the answer that is necessary. Okay. Yes. Now you can see the difference between answers. 